Well, hey guys, I'm working on a 2001 Volkswagen Passat. Pretty much the same uh, on on all the years of Passats, like 90, it might be 2000 is a switchover year from B5 to B5.5 up to like 2005. So they're all the same. Um, even the B5 might be the same as the B5.5. I had a little trouble finding the seal in here. It was leaking pretty bad. So fairly simple, just pull this flange out. It's a little um, Torx 40 bolt here. Right in the center, goes in here. Um, you need a pretty good quality one. I have broken some K tool of the black impact rated ones. The OTC makes a really good set for not too expensive. That's real, real good bits. So take that off of there. Uh, I was able to grab a pry bar, uh, slide it up underneath this rail here, and pop the top of the seal out. I, I had to work on it a little bit, but it did come out. Um, then got this seal it's an skf 29854 this was about like a third the price is the oem seal so that that that's real good which obviously i was able to get it a lot faster than the oem seal as well and then i have a jeep harbor freight seal driver which i kind of modified i got a bolt washer and it fit perfectly on the seal to just kind of start pressing it in so the where i ran into a little bit of trouble is how far to press it into this bore um you can kind of feel there's a taper on it. Um, you want to push it into the inside of that taper. Uh, what I did, how to measure it, because I wasn't quite sure, is you can see the groove, um, not the groove, but you can see a mark on here where the seal was riding, so you know how far it was in. Then you can uh, put this thing in here, and you can feel where it first hits. It'll first touch the seal. Now maybe take a millimeter off of your measurement roughly um, because it's not fully on the seal yet. Hang on a sec. So have a caliper here. Sorry, gotta get the camera in a good spot. And I just put it in here, right on the edge, slid it back and took my measurement. So here I got roughly 24 millimeters and you can see how I did that just the back of it sticks out there. Um, so it got 24 millimeters, then grab the flange and push it in until it seats. Then go and take that same measurement. Um, right now, looks like it got about 18. So, sorry, the screen's broke. I'm just going off the manual stuff. So 18 to 24, that's the difference of six millimeters then pull your flange out and then basically grab your calipers here and measure um, sorry if it focuses here I, I'm having a little hard time with the camera here but basically measure the difference between the edge of the seal lip here and where it starts so right here I've got about four, maybe four and a half millimeters there, which that's not too bad. So I'm going to consider that um, close enough to see it will be slightly in further on, on, on be on a new sealing surface. But that's a good way to measure where the seal will sit on the um, shaft. So I could probably push it in another millimeter, maybe two at the most, but I think I'm going to leave it right there. And then when you're done, put a little Loctite on this bolt, blue Loctite, should be good to go. I don't know the torque spec off the top of my head, but it's, I'm sure you can find it online. If on the TDIs, I know it's 18 foot pounds. So it's somewhere around there. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, I was just listening to a new song called Truth by Lecrae. That's really, really good. If you have any questions about God or truth, I was pretty, I was amazed. It was a very good song. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, God bless you.